Hey guys, it's Justin Prentice and you're watching Pop Mania TV. <laughs> there are so many. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I like to pretend I'm like this really cool person, but I'm not. Like everything about me I think is nerdy. From my personality, I'm kind of quirky and awkward. Um, obviously, I love reading. I love sciences. Um, I, I was kind of focused on academics when I was a kid uh, and, and music. Um, so, yeah. A, yeah, a lot of stuff, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I, like to, I, I like to be romantic all the time, you know? <laughs> Whenever I can, it's it's the little things, you know. The little things add up to something spectacular. I don't know. Uh, I'm an Aries, so Rams. <laughs> I'm from a town called Old Hickory, Tennessee. It's a suburb of of Nashville. Okay, so this song was stuck in my head the entire audition process. <laughs> I don't know if that was a sign, I took it as one. Uh, I, I love you like a love song, baby. It's great, who can't love that song? Funny story, so I called myself Tommy for years, I think, and to the point where my parents would introduce me to someone and I'd be like, hi, my name's Tommy, and they'd be like, his name's Justin. I'd be like, don't listen to them, my name's Tommy. And the reason, I also had seven fish, and they were all, they were all named Tommy. <laughs> An obsession with Power Rangers, right? Because who did it? And Tommy was the cool white ranger that came in, right? And then he became the green ranger, and then, then I think he became the red ranger, but he was like the badass mystery guy, the like buff, the like long hair, really cool, and I was like, that's me now, I'm Tommy forever. And no one, it didn't catch on, no one called me Tommy, but I wanted people to. To control and alter space-time, and I—it's—it's—it's—it's it's it's, it's my cop-out answer for basically all of the powers, because <laughs> if you can control that, you know, if you can control things at the atomic level, then well, you can fly, you can make other things fly, you can make things just randomly combust, you could travel through time, you can control time. So, all, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that one. <laughs> mm, maybe f fifty first dates. I want to say I think that's that's a it's a good one for my generation and whatnot. I tend to not go out and party a lot, or listen to a whole lot of pop music. So I guess that makes me kind of weird. I love country music and uh, I stay inside a lot. So. <laughs> well, I started playing violin when I was four. That's usually people are pretty surprised by that because that's a young age to start playing an instrument, I guess. But it was Tennessee. And they're like, "Here's a fiddle, go play." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I went to Lake Tahoe, and there's like a secluded lake just southwest of Tahoe called Fallen Leaf Lake, and um, and I went with my significant other, who's amazing, we went and we shared a bottle of wine and watched the sunset, and we were the only ones on the water on like an abandoned dock, it was magical. For one day, I don't know, like, Dr. Manhattan from the Watchmen franchise. I think without question it has to be the Backstreet Boys' first album. Yeah, that well, was part of my childhood, and uh, it's the reason I am who I am today. Thanks for watching Pop Mania TV. Check out 13 Reasons Why on Netflix March 31st.